Hey, what's up, guys? Here's another episode of Quick and Dirty with me, the Cheese Man. Today's topic will be leveling. Now, this topic is going to be super, super simple because leveling is simply just going into combat, doing the combat, clearing it, and you get EXP for it. Very, very simple. But to some people, they really do not know where to grind. For whatever reason, they, they do not know where to grind. So, we're going to do this as simple as possible. I'm going to show you guys seven key maps as to where you want to farm. And that's pretty much it. So, when you start off the game, you're using level one ships, right? Now, I, I said it many, many times. My favorite map in this game, well, one of them is 2 1. 2 1, very, very easy. The mobs here are level 11. Pick some level one ships, go in, and you're good to go. Very, very easy map. You get a lot of urgent missions. You get a lot of coins at a very, very good rate as well. You want to be here. Even if you're not all efficient, you want to be here. You can pick up some other maps as well. Like 2 3 has uh, fire extinguishers, I think. You want these. You can if you want to. But for the most part, if you're laying up ships from, like, say, level 1 through level 30 or so, 30 or 40, I say if you want to pick a map to farm, 2 1 is not a terrible map. Go to, like, level 40 or so, and you're good to go. Now, one of the big things I want to talk um, talk about when it comes to leveling up is level advantage. There's two things, gear is and level advantage. The most important thing in this game for power is level advantage. Why? Because of this really simple formula that I'm about to show you guys on the screen, or not simple formula, this little mechanic on the screen. Basically, when you're one level above the enemy, you're, you take 2% less damage and you do 2% more damage. This applies up until like I think 50% uh, going both ways. So it is very, very good. So you want to try, if you want this to be a very, very easy experience for you when it comes to playing the campaign mode, which is the story mode by the way, you want levels and you want a lot of it. So the higher level you are compared to the map you're doing, the easier it is for you to clear the map and the easier it is for you to get, to get EXP. So when you're grinding for maps, my hot take for you guys is to stay about 20 levels plus when you're about 20 levels plus the map you're farming it's going to be a very very easy experience now 2 one is a special case because you can use little bunch ships and it'll work perfectly fine assuming you have the gear but if you wanted to do the little thing about whatever it should be good to go so with that being said the second map is going to be everyone's favorite map 3-4 now 3-4 is a good map because you got repair toolkits now, 3-4, the mobs here are about level 32, and using what I told you guys before, about 20 levels plus. If you want to start grinding for 3-4, start when you're about level 50 on your ship. It'll make the process a lot easier. You're not going to be under leveled, but it should be a lot easier. Now, getting to level 50 up until this point is going to take a while, which what I mean by the way, if you want to farm for gear, go for ahead. There's 2-3. There's, there's a lot of these maps that you can farm for like gear if you want to. Um... If you really, really want gear, farm for these maps. But I recommend if you really want to start heavily farming 3-4, make sure your ships are about level 50. It shouldn't take that long of gameplay to get level 50 ships. It may take a couple hours or so, but you'll get there in time. Once you're about level 50 or so, start farming 3-4. You're probably going to be here for God knows how long because a lot of people complain that Akagi and Kaga take forever to drop. Do it for what you uh, will. For most people, they want to farm for these two ships. I personally say farm this map for these two things right here. This is a very good fighter, probably the best fighter for purple tiers in this game. And you have the repair toolkits, everyone's favorite HP item. You need a lot of these. They're very, very good. I'll show you guys exactly how much I have in mind. I have a billion of these. Go to here, go to equips. I have a lot of them, a lot. So you're gonna need a lot of these. If you're assuming you're making it to, to end game or whatever, you're going to need a lot of those. So you're going to be here for a while. Start when you're about level 50 or so. You have a little 20 advantage or so. It's going to be a lot easier when you farm. So 3-4 when you're about level 50 on your ships, you're good to go then. Now, let's say you got a lot of repair toolkits. You got all that other jazz. You want to move up, right? Now, I don't have any good recommendations in World 5 or so. But in Chapter 4, there's some good maps here. Chapter 4... You can farm 4-2, which has amazing good gear. Cruiser guns, really, really good. A lot of these good choices. 4-2 is a good step if you don't want to farm chapter 3-4 anymore. The difference is negligible. 4-2's mobs are about level 38. 3-4 mobs are about level 32. 
So it's not much difference. If you really want to stick to three, four and keep firing repair toolkits or whatever, that's perfectly fine before you skip to the next step. Uh, but if you're done farming three, four for whatever reason, you want to go to the next areas. Four, two is a good map for these two things right here. And four, three is also a good map if you want to farm for um, like purple fire control radars. And this is probably like one of the best suicide bomber um, auxiliary guns for BBs as well. Perfectly good choices there. Uh, the EXP is not that different, but if you want you want to farm here, go ahead. Now, once you're, let's say, uh, done farming these maps, you want to move up to the next area, right? So I say, I recommend if you guys want to start farming the next set of map, you want to be level 80. So you're going to be farming level 80, up until level 80, somewhere from ch chapters 3 and 4. So we're going to skip 5. Five, just do it. You don't have to clear. You don't have to farm this map. You can if you want to. I recommend you don't farm this map because there's nothing here that's worth your time. In in my honest opinion, there's wait farming here is a big waste of time. Skip chapter five. We go to chapter six now. Chapter six begins probably one of the biggest resources you'll need in this game when you play Azure Lane. Purple plates. Purple plates starts dropping in chapter six. You're gonna be farming these maps and higher. For a very very long time because you're going to need a lot of them and i recommend the first map you start with is a simple six one six one because sg radars very very good auxiliaries you need a lot of these very very good gives accuracy gives uh ambush evasion very very good auxiliaries you want to start farming six one uh when you're about level 80 or so by the way if you guys don't know what level mobs are without checking the wiki or whatever you can check the wiki which would be faster a little hot take from worlds between, um, from I say like 11, I think. So between uh, worlds 2 and 11, if you want to know what level the mobs are roughly, what you do is from chapters like 3 to 11 or so, you take the map, like, like for example right here, 6-3, right? Drop that dash out. And that number is what the levels should be roughly around. So for example... 61 drop the dash level 61 the areas for mobs for right here is level 59 roughly about the same right and we go back to 42 what i was talking about 42 drop the dash right here 42 the mobs here are level 38 so very very similar to what you see here that's a good way for you to tell the difference now the cutoff it's like somewhere like a chapter of 10 or like 10 or 11 right here I'm not going to talk about that, but if you guys want to know an easy way to like figure out what level the mobs are, there you go. So, um, Farm 6-1 is a very good map. You're probably going to be here for a very, very long time. I'm assuming you want to move up. You want to start farming 6-1 when you're about level 80 or so. You want like that plus 20 level advantage. It'll make, your process, it'll make the process of grinding a lot easier, especially when you're undergeared on ships. When you're at 6-1, I do recommend that most of your ships do have plus six gear minimum make sure you're plus six minimum guys on all your gear if possible it'll make the process a lot easier so level 80 plus eight uh, plus six gear you'll be good to go now sit here for a bit from some sg radars however, however many you want once you're done there you're ready to move up to what is called end game now these next three maps i'm going to talk to you guys about is basically end game maps i say end game maps because people Endgame players farm these map a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot. Okay, so 7-2 is the first one. It's my favorite map. It's the, the map I'm known for, 7-2. Why? Gives really good purple gear, really good anti-air, and it gives a lot of coins. You do three attacks, you grab the four question mark nodes in 7-2, and you leave. Is it efficient for EXP? Mo most likely not. It is not. But when you guys get to the very, very end game stage of the game, you guys will realize that you need a lot of purple plates and you need a lot of coins. So what best map to farm than 7-2? You need coins. There you go. You need purple plates. There you go. You want to get a lot of these. A lot of these. So uh, that's the first of the end game maps. The second one will be 8-4. I say 8-4 is a good map because 8-4 is a very very special map now gear aside it has pretty decent gear here as well the reason why this map is special is because this map takes four mobs to defeat to spawn the boss node 7-2 as crazy as it is 
is five mobs to defeat, then the boss spawns. So boss nodes give more EXP. If it takes five mo five mobs to spawn the boss, that means in six battles you get five mob EXP and one boss EXP versus eight four. You're going to do five battles, four mobs, one boss EXP. You see the difference right here? You get more out of this, especially since it's higher level. 85 right here. I would definitely recommend when you start farming 8-4 uh, to be in the 100s, upper 100s probably. But 100s will help out a lot. 7-2 is a good place to start when you're like level 90-ish. I usually start my ships at level 90-ish. How I play the game nowadays, if you guys don't know, is for the most part, if I have like a new ship, I want to level up to uh to uh, one twenty or whatever. What I usually do is I dorm them. I dorm them to like say like a hundred or so. Hundred, it depends. Like maybe BBs and cruisers, like level one hundred. But if it's like a carrier, one hundred and five, one hundred and ten, you have a little leeway because they they can't really defend them, defend themselves against suicide bombers. I do that, and then once they're in that like level zone, I draw, I take them out of the first dorm, and I put them and we uh, in the second dorm. And I farm 7-2. Same thing applies here. Uh, you want to start in the 100s. When you're level 100 in the, for mo uh, for your ships, by, by the way, you get to right here. Now, purple place as well. Around this area, you kind of want to start having plus 8 gear. When you got plus 8 gear, you get to go. Now, that's the second one. You want to be e EXP efficient, you go to 8-4. You want to be resource efficient, you go to 7-2. The last map. We're skipping chapter 10, we're, ch we're skipping chapter 9, we're skipping chapter 10, we're skipping chapter 11, we're going to chapter 12. Now, I personally don't farm this map, but I will though, because I need Chokai, because I'm bad at this game. Chapter 12 4 is a very, very good map to farm for endgame players that do not want to play this game for a long period of time. I say this because at 12 4, the mobs here are level 113. So, Going back to what I said before about the plus 20 level advantage, you don't have that here. The highest level in this game is 120 for your ships, right? So you're not going to have that much of a level uh, advantage farming 12-4. So what do you do here? You put in more ships. So at 12-4, most people, you can level up three to six ships, depending on how fast you want to burn your oil, toss all those together. Make sure you have the anti-air. You kind of don't need it anymore nowadays, but toss a lot of ships in, and you're good to go. You can start level. You can start 12-4 at 110. 110, even though you're three levels down, you can. If your if your threat level is safe, you can farm this map with very low level ships. It depends on how your team composition are and whatnot. Usually, a lot what a lot of people do is they take six ships in. And they have like one or two carries while the other four are just leeching EXP. That's one way to do it. Otherwise, just toss in a lot of like 110 ships. You want to start around roughly around here. Toss them in. You're good to go. You'll probably burn all your oil in probably like a few, one hour or so. One hour or less, honestly, if you're really, really fast. Especially with the auto mode nowadays. Um, but this is a good map if you don't have enough time. But you want a lot of EXP. The EXP gain here is amazing. But the oil burn is really, really fast as well. So in the process of you getting a lot of EXP, which is very, very good, you're not going to get that much purple place. You're not going to get that much coins and, and whatnot. You guys know what I mean? So be very, very careful with that. 12-4 to be fast. 8-4 to be EXP efficient with your oil. And 7-2 to be resource efficient with your oil. So those are the three end game maps. 7-2, 8-4, and 12-4. Depending on what kind of player you are, you pick one of those maps to farm and you're good to go. So, that's the end of this video, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I will respond to them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.